It's gonna be that, sick. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be Let sick. It better not be sick. And kick. It better not be sick. Hey guys, yeah. welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Go ahead. I'm gonna give you two seconds. Hit that subscribe button. Okay? Like, share, and comment on my videos. Now, so in the U.S., many places are starting to loosen up a little bit with the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, schools are starting to go back into actual buildings. Um, same with my kids' school. So uh, the system is opening up for two days a week in the building and three days a week hybrid. So uh, I had an extensive conversation with my kids and my husband, and we decided we're going to try it. Um, my, my oldest son had a little bit of hesitation because of um, some of the rules, but we all decided and he also accepted that, you know, he will try it two days a week. Now, some parents already had um, their kids' routine down packed um, and they don't want to move that routine. They don't want to change that routine. They already had the morning routine, meet their routine, afternoon routine with the kids at home or online and that's fine and they want to just keep it that way especially since it's only two months before uh, the summer break comes it's only april so they have um may and june and then school is out for the summertime so they don't want to mess with that but i personally feel like i need to let the kids out into the public i need to let the kids out into um interacting with human beings you know because they've just been online all day every day and that's just cannot be good um i think that children are not that fragile in making changes and making moves uh, especially if they're not like extremely like strenuous move which i feel they're not so i think that they're you know they can go in and see how they like it and if they don't and then they can come back home and do full-time online because it is a little bit of a hustle um when you you know uh, especially some parents are saying you know that whole constant hand washing constant social distancing no interaction like per se they don't have um, playground time and they're be wearing masks all day long and all those are very legitimate concerns um so they're not letting their kids go back to school they're just um keeping them home but like I said, I think that it would be good for my kids to just be out of the house two days a week and, um, you know, and then just see how that goes and give parents some time to breathe a little bit and um, to do other things and so forth and so on. So anyways, I won't talk too much. Today's episode is about how we um, help them this morning to basically just be out um, at the bus stop and wait for their buses. It was Isaiah's first day into the actual building last year. He wasn't able to, but today he was able to um, get ready and get um, on the big kids bus. So it was really exciting. So um, I hope you enjoy it and hope you come back for some more of this content. Like, share and subscribe once again. I love you. Take care. Look who's ready to go to first day of school at the actual building. Isaiah Ishaka. Now Zach is going back to the building. Isaiah Ishaka, how do you feel? What do you think? Good? Excited? Yeah. I feel more like a statue. Like a statue? Why? And sleeping in. <laughs> what do you think, Zach? How do you feel? Hmm? Mm. Okay, Isaiah, I told you playtime is over. You, this is this is different times now. You mm -hmm. eat, or else the bus leaves. You tell, ask Zach how many times the bus has left him, and he didn't have to go through that again. Five times. Yeah, he, and he learned the hard way. So, you, if the bus leaves you, Zach is gonna run, get on the bus, and you'll be right here playing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put that thing down and eat, please. All right. That's going to have fun. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Then it'll, it'll take more time to unplug it and put it on. Yes. And then get on the bus. Yes, there. Yeah. So That's a good strategy your brother's telling you. You get ready when the bus comes. We jump off. Which one? I think that one's passing going this way. Zay, Zay is ready. Excited. Sick, lick, make, quick, kick. Sick, lick, make, quick, kick. Oh, yes. We're waiting for the school bus. It's 
it's quarantine. It's gonna be is that, is sick. Done it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be Let sick. It better not be sick. Cause it better not be sick. Cause the idea no, is no, for you not to be sick. Mommy, not that kind of. Sick. I know what kind of sick you're talking about. Hip kids. It's gonna be sick. No, no. This is pandemic time. We don't want school to be sick. So yeah, the kids are waiting to go in. Um, they're gonna be going two days a week, and um, my first son, you know, this is the usual for him back before COVID. But my second son, this is the first time he gets to go to the bus. Uh, right before COVID, this was going to be um, his first experience being at the bus stop and going to school. So COVID came and squashed that. So today is going to be his first day actually going on the big kid bus. Uh, and he's very excited. So we are out here, um, you know, supporting him, waiting for the bus. And he better show up because um, last week, whatever happened, they decided not to have school in, in the building. They switched it to this week, so they don't want to get up and get ready for nothing. So they got their book bags ready, all the technology, um, computer, tablets, everything is ready to go. So yeah, pretty much it. Daddy, your second son is going to go into the school building. How you feel? You feel good? I feel Collins. <laughs> Y'all know about that, that joke? <laughs> Anyways, um, he said it's gonna be sick. <laughs> that is chilly, so he got the little blanket on outside the porch. Uh, oh. no. uh, not that bus is not here yet. Oh. Is there? Yeah, we gotta call the bus um, app and make sure that the bus is actually coming because I'm gonna be not happy if they don't come. But that you, we might have to just take them. Hmm? Well, the first one, we huh? took cans, pick up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it live? It's not live. Where's my computer? It's in there. Where's your? No, the other, the other zipper, baby. No, the big one. Right here. This one. Okay, so you have your waffle in there. Two crispy waffles and... Oh, my tablet. And your tablet. And you have applesauce. Oh, we need your bottle of water. You forgot that. Your bottle of water, because they're not going to... I already have... know where my bottle of water is. Great. Great. Go get it, baby. Good job. Okay, guys. Come on. Go, go. Go. On the other side. H O H. H O H. Yeah, Maya Angel. Yeah. Daddy, he's with his brother. Oh he's okay. Goodness. Don't cry, Daddy. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh Dad's gone, Daddy. He's going to school. Oh my kids goodness. are growing up, buddy. The Our kids are growing up. But we're lucky that Isaiah is with Isaac. Mm. If it was by himself, I would be like <laughs> sobbing. <laughs> Little old five-year-old Isaiah, almost six. He's going to school. Okay, Manuel is still snoring. Let's see if he woke up yet. I think he's still snoring. He's still sleeping. Let me see. Oh, Manuel is still sleeping. <laughs> Parenting 101. Okay, guys, so this is what you go through when your kids are going out. And you feel like they're young, they're too young to be out in the world. But you know what? They can never be ready. Just gotta let them go, let their wings fly, and they'll be all right. They might flop and fall, but they'll get back up and fly. So it's gonna be well. We prayed. 
and um, God is with them. Why the girls are having their little party? What's going on? Why are you guys are hyper so early this morning? Did you just open them up, Daddy? Yeah, I don't believe it's so they just decided to fly. Okay. Hi, Whitey. Oh, Daddy's still having a little hard time, yes. Daddy. It's going to be all right. C'est possible, hein? possible, Papa. C'est possible. <laughs> Il a presque six ans. He's almost six. Six years old, Daddy. He'll be all right. Big, big brother is with him. Hey, what you over there screaming for? Okay, tell your little friend to come meet you. Oh, no screaming. Okay, all right, bye bye. Right, so dad is having a little bit of hard time with it. I'm not. I, I think yeah, Isaiah is just gonna be all right. Isaiah is is a soldier, okay? It's just the parenting things you gotta go through. You gotta let them go, let their wings fly. They might flap and fall a little bit, but they'll get back up and they'll be all right. Especially if you have a sibling, it's easier. But even if you don't have a sibling, you pray about it, you let it go. You let them go on the bus and you just let them go. One day you let them go at the, um, I don't know, at the Greyhound bus to go to college, but it's step by step, step by step. I'm excited, but daddy is still uh, sniff sniffing a little bit about it. <laughs> Daddy, you need a tissue? Yeah, <laughs> It's gonna be all right. Now, when Emmanuel wakes up, well, well, he'll be all lonely a little bit because he's not at school yet, but he's gonna have mommy and daddy's attention all day today. So he, he's gonna miss his brothers, but it's, it's like that. It's a process. He'll be going in September, so he'll have enough time to play mom to play with mommy and daddy a little bit longer but then he'll go in september it's just the way it is okay green what's up good morning good morning uh you guys are a little bit hyper this morning what's going on are you hungry you have food i think you have water too so you should be good right yes Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at that over there. Come up here. Come up here, guys. Let's go check on Emmanuel. I think he's still asleep. Okay, it's closed. So I can get started on the day. All right, let's just do this. So, let's see. Yep, so I get started now. And um, yeah, so that's going to be my new routine in the morning on Mondays and Tuesdays when the boys are starting to go back to school. So now I can actually start checking my emails, um, making some phone calls. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day. God bless. So that's how my morning went this morning. I hope you're doing well. I hope you mommies are doing your morning routines and getting your days going. I'm curious to know what you think about this half hybrid, half going to school for kids and the whole vaccine that might be required for either teachers and students and the whole COVID basically with your children being out there. Uh, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, uh, what your feelings are. Um, I would love to see them in the comment section below so we can interact as mommies, whether it be on the continent, whether it be in, in America, in Asia, in Europe, wherever you are, uh, the situation with your kids at school, let me know.